In this problem, we have to compute uh, various different things. So we have f of x equals 2 of x, and g of x equals x plus 7. The first part wants us to find f o g of x. Let's go ahead and work through that. So when you have f o g of x, so this is the same thing as saying f of and then g of x. Okay, so uh, it's written just the way it's written here. So you want to work from um, the inside out. So first you replace the g. So g of x here is x plus 7. So you write down the f again, you write down the parentheses, and then you just replace g of x with x plus 7. That's the first step. And again, it's pretty easy to memorize what it means because look, it's f, g, f, g. It's in the same order. Okay, then you look at f of x because this is f. So this is f of x plus 7. Well, f of x is just 2 times x. So f of x plus 7 is just going to be 2 times x plus 7. So this basically means you replace x with x plus 7. So you would get, here, I'll do it up here so you see it, x plus 7. Just replacing it, you get 2 times x plus 7. That's all you do. And then just distribute. So we get 2x plus 14. So that would be the answer to the first part. Part B, very, very similar. So for part B, we just have to find g o f of x. So same thing as before. It appears, it's, it was written in the way it appears. So it's g of f of x. You see, so it's g f, g f. And then you replace the inside. So always replace uh, the inside first. So this is g of, and then the inside piece is f of x. So it's 2x. So just replace that. So 2x. And then now you look at g, because it's g of 2x. Well, g of x is x plus 7. So if you were just to replace x with 2x, you would just get 2x plus 7. So this is just 2x plus 7. And that would be the answer for g of of x. Part C, much, much easier. So we want f o g of 2. So we already have a formula for f o g of x. It's over here. It's 2x plus 14. So all you do is you just plug in the 2 into your formula from before. So it'll be 2 times 2 plus 14. So you just get 4 plus 14. So you just get 18. So that would be the answer to that one. And then finally for part D, we have to find g o f of 2. So again, we already have a formula for g o f of x, so we just use it. So we have 2x plus 7, so all you do is replace the x with 2. So 2 times 2 plus 7. So that's 4 plus 7, so we end up with 11. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.